What's up, Interweb? Raikun here, and welcome back to another episode of Strange Showdown Sessions. This is a series where I take your guys' weird, crazy set suggestions, I jump on a tier on Showdown, and I try and make, make them work. The idea of the series is not to get wins, but it's to showcase these crazy, weird sets. So, today we are in UU, and we have four comment suggestions, which are all very, very fun things. So let's take a quick look at the team I'm using today in UU. So, first up we have a suggestion from Travesty, which is a Focus Sash Porygon Z with Adaptability, Agility, Last Resort, Max Attack, Adamant, Max Speed. Love it. Love Last Resort, Agility, Last Resort is fantastic, so we're going to try it. Next up, we have Andre, the Umbreon, with the black glasses, with Synchronize, Foul Play, Baton Pass, Sucker Punch, and Facade. Max Attack, Max Speed, Jolly. Yep, physically offensive Umbreon. I love it. With Facade as well, because generally people think you're you're a bulky mod, even, with, even though you have Synchronize, a lot of people still like to put some status on you to try and wear you down, particularly Toxic, and then that's when you go for a Facade. It's great. Next up, we have Kino the Suicune, with the Choice Band, Extreme Speed, Facade, Waterfall, and Ice Fang, 112 HP, 252 attack, and then a uh, 144 in speed with a relaxed nature, because it has to be, because Extreme Speed, which is kind of sucky because it minuses speed, but hey-ho, what are you going to do? And then after that, the fourth and final comment suggestion, we have Burke the Entei with the leftovers, Substitute, Calm Mind, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, Max HP, Max Special Attack, Modest. Love that. Sub, Calm Mind, Entei. Let's go, let's go. I love that, love that, love that. And then we get on to the two, uh, the two sets that I've made uh, for this episode. We have, first off, basically Entei, the Trevenant, with the Power Herb, with Frisk, Dig, Solar Beam, Energy Ball, and Shadow Claw. Max Attack, Max Special Attack, I don't even know what nature that is. Quiet. Yeah, that one. Um... Power Herb Dig and Power Herb Solar Beam, two of my favorite things in the world. Can never go wrong. And then, uh, last but not least on this team for UU, we have Natural Selection, the Dragalgi, with the Choice Scarf, Adaptability, Dragon Pulse, Draco Meteor, Sludge Wave, and Hidden Power Ground. Max Special Attack, Max Speed, Timid. Scarfed Dragalgi is the way forward. Um, I've had a few test matches with this team, and Dragalgi has put in the finest of work so far, so let's hope that can continue. So, that is the team I'm using in UU today. Let's jump on Showdown. Let's get in a match, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we've got a match against Happy Moonwolf. He's using Heliolisk, Houndoom, Alamomola, Umbreon, Frostlass, and Heracross. Uh, so, I'm expecting that Umbreon to be specially defensive, Alamomola physically defensive. Um, Frostlass maybe a Sash lead, Scarfed Heracross maybe, uh, Specs or Life Orb Heliolisk, and probably a Mega Houndoom, that would be my guess. Um, that would be my guess it is, team. Uh, so what's the lead here? Probably a Sash lead Frostlass would be my guess. Uh, so what I actually want to do is I'm actually going to lead with Entei and go for a sub first thing, I think. Let's try it. Let's go with Entei, and if he leads with uh, Frostlass, I can be No, it's Heracross. Okay, um... I don't really want to take a hit from this guy, but at the same time, he's going to be scared of the fire move. Uh, so I'm actually just going to go for a sub. He, he's probably going to go into Houndoom, who I can't touch. So I'm actually going to double into... Uh, double. <laughs> going to double in the first turn. Yeah, totally. I'm going to go into Suicune, expecting the Houndoom to come in to take the fire move. That's the idea, anyway. As he just goes for Earthquake. Okay. Um, so now I can go for, uh, I can't really go for Warfall in case he brings in Healing Disc, which he very well could right now. Uh, I think I kind of just want to go for E-Speed. I don't want him to bring in Frostlass. He's not going to bring in Frostlass right now. Do I just go for Ice Fang? Um, I can see him bringing in Alamomola as well. I'm just going to go for Ice Fang, I think. Gonna do something. He does go into Heliolisk, which is very nice. Ice Fang does good damage. I get the freeze! Oh my god. Oh my god. I get the freeze. Let's just go for another Ice Fang. Oh man. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous getting the freeze off that. I have to go for another Ice Fang. I, I, I almost want him to thaw out, honestly. 
because uh, I hate freeze as you guys know jeez I hate freeze man uh, I almost don't want to kill him yeah, I feel bad and he's still frozen that's so unfortunate uh, sorry that is that is really unfortunate um, damn. well now he's I'm just spamming guys funny so the, oh, there's the forfeit yeah I, I don't blame him honestly because freeze is so frustrating uh, but we're gonna get another game that doesn't really count as one so this one technically will count as the first one so we have a match against Schneidru who has Crobat, Cresselia, Azov, Slacking, Donphan and Sharpedo okie dokie then um, I can see Let's see here Donphan uh, is rocks and spin that's probably a mega Sharpedo uh, actually, it may not be rocks, it may just be spin, and it may be a, a rocks Azelf sash lead with explosion. Uh, Cress is just Cress. Um, what do I have to take on a Cress? Not much, honestly. Not much. Uh, so this is going to be fun. Um, what's the lead here? I I can see either the Azelf or the uh, Donphan lead. So, what I want to do is I think it's more likely to be Azelf than Donphan. I'm actually going to go with Trevenant because it matches up well against both of them. There's the Azelf. I can go for a Shadow Claw. He is Sash, so that's what I expected it to be. I'm going to go for Shadow Claw. As he's probably just going to go for Rocks right now. I would assume he's just going to go for Rocks. Uh, because that's normally what these Azelfs do. And the good thing is about this, he cannot explode on Trevenant, which is fantastic. So I was going to take him down to Sash. Uh, he doesn't have a normal type, so there's no reason for me not to go for another Shadow Claw. Um, he does go for Knock Off. He knocks off my Power Herb! No! My Power Herb! I wanted Power Herb Solar Beam. Rip the Dream! In comes Slacking. He can't go for a normal move, which is great. So I'm going to go for Energy Ball. Uh, he does go for Pursuit. Yep, that's fair. Didn't even know these things got Pursuit. But now he's going to be uh, loafing around or going to have to switch out either or. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go into Entei and get off a sub, I think. He could have infiltrate a Crobat though, and that's not ideal. I'm going to do it anyway. Let's go into Entei, and let's go for the sub. Infiltrate a Crobat is definitely, can definitely be a thing, but I don't think he's going to go into it right now. I think it's more likely to be uh, Cress or Sharpedo, or even Donphan, honestly. Um, so, I don't mind. I Yeah, he, he's going to waste a turn, so I, I'm not too fast, I don't think. I don't think anyway. So he's either gonna switch. He's not. I don't think he's gonna stay in. And if he does, I'm behind a sub anyway. Um. So I I I think he's gonna go into Dumbfan. Either Dumbfan or Crest, one of the two. I would assume that uh, Dumbfan is his uh, physically defensive one, and Chris Hadley is specially defensive. I'd assume. I guess. I don't know when that leaves Crobat. It could just be an offensive, uh, offensive Crobat, because that is pretty powerful. Oh, DT Entei. Okay, and he's going to switch into the Domfan, as I'm going to get off a sub. Very nice. Uh, so now I'm, I'm expecting him to expect the physical move, so do I go for Calm Mind, or do I just go for Flamethrower right now? Because he will break my sub with, you know, an Earthquake. So do I just go for damage with Flamethrower? I think I do. Let's go for Flamethrower. That's, Jesus Christ, that did a lot, but he's going to roll me out. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I do go into Suicune, though, which is fantastic, because I can just go for a Waterfall right now. There's not much reason not to. It's the strongest move I have for Cress if he brings that in. It will kill Donphan. Does the most damage out of anything on anything else on his team, so just go for Waterfall. That's actually the best Mon that could have brought me in off the Raw, so I'll take that. I will take that. Let's go, Kino. Let's do this, Kino. We got this. We got this. We got this. Um, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm pretty happy with Suicune coming in there. He is going to die to this waterfall if he stays in. Sharpedo is very, very frail. I don't know if it were to hit KO. This is banded Suicune. He's going to go into Crest. See how much it does. 30% is respectable, to be fair. To a Crest, that is not bad. Let's go for a, another waterfall. There's another 29%. Oh, yeah. Reflect. Oh, that's horrible. Um... Hmm. That is horrible. 
Uh, I'm just going to go for another waterfall, see how much this does now. Behind a reflect, how much is it going to do? 14%. T-Wave, okay. Uh, I'm going to go into... I think I'm going to go into Umbreon. Um, I'll go for, I don't know, foul plays? That's a horrible thing to do, but oh well. So now he's going to get up a light screen, and I'm going to go for foul play. It's going to do nothing. Because Cresselia has not very good attack, and it's behind a reflect. 16% I mean, it's done, doing more than Waterfall. Lunar Dance! Oh god. In comes Crobat. Oh. Okay. If you say so. Is this Nasty Plot? Is that a thing that you're going to do to me? I'm going to go for Foul Play again. He is Nasty Plot. Very interesting. Foul Play does it. Danny One. Percent. Uh, I. Scarf Dragagi does not outspeed a Crobat. That much is for damn true. Um, what do I have to take this thing on? Do I just go for Baton Pass? Or do I just keep going with this thing? I'm going to go for another Foul Play. I don't think he can take me out one hit right now. Unless he says up another nasty plot. Don't think he can take me out right now. And hopefully his screens are going to wear out very soon. That would be ideal. That did indeed happen. There's the, uh, another nasty plot. Can I take one more hit? I think I can. I don't think he's going to set up another nasty plot unless he's super, super greedy. Is he that greedy? I'm going to go for another foul play. If he goes for another nasty plot, that's fine, because I can I can do a combination of foul play and sucker punch. And uh, I don't know how many turns his screens have left. Let's have a look. Reflect was turn 7. This has got to be the end now. He does go for another nasty plot. I think a sucker punch kills him from this range. It doesn't fade? Oh, it's one more turn, isn't it? Because of light clay. Yeah, it's one more turn. Ugh, that's annoying. I have to just go for Sucker Punch now, then. I do have E-Speed Suicune, which will kill it, so that's fine with me. Let's go for Sucker Punch. 20%. Solid. Slice one takes me out. He's Life Orb. Uh, so he's going to go down to another attack, unless he has Roost, in which case I'm going into you, and I'm going for Extreme Speed. Do not, I repeat, do not get fully paralyzed. Suicune, if ever there was a time to not get fully paralyzed, it's right now. Please, do not get fully paralyzed. Thank you! <whistles> Extreme speed, coming in clutch. Well done, Kino. Slacking is just gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage to me. Uh, what do I need? Suicune for. I need Suicune for Donphan, really. Um, I don't need it for Donphan, but I want it for Donphan. I also could do with it because it kind of stops, quote unquote, Sharpedo. I could take a hit from it at the very least. So I need to stack off something else. I don't think uh, Entei is doing much. So I'm going to go into Entei, sack it off, as he's going to go for Retaliate, yeah. Sente goes down, which is fine. And now he's going to be uh, loafing around. So I'm going to... What's Donphan on? 58%. I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to go into uh, Porygon Z. I'm going to go for an agility. And let's see if Travesty here can put in some work. Let's go for the agility. I'm going to outspeed uh, Mega Sharpedo. I'm going to outspeed Sharpedo after one protect. I'm fairly certain. Uh, I don't think one last resort is going to kill Donphan, but we are going to damn try. Uh, he has literally no switch-ins for a suspected try attack right now, so he may actually just stay in. Um, and a last re that would actually be really bad for me, because a last resort will not kill this lacking. He is going to switch out into Donphan, so I'm going to get off an agility. Now I'm going to go for last resort. It, this will not kill him. This will not kill him. Donphan, Donphan is too bulky. This will not kill him, but we're going to try. Let's see how much this does. Um... Even though we are adamant, this is he's PC is is too weak on the physical side um, for this to do enough to kill. Um, we'll see how much it does. I'm thinking it would take him down to red, but it won't it won't kill. Maybe take him down to red. It might even take him down to red. Let's be real. Might take him down to like 20%. Maybe we'll see. His Donphan is very very bulky on the physical side, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, Sharpedo probably died to it, I think. Because Sharpedo is frail as hell. Slacking definitely won't die to it. There's the last resort. 
Probably taken down to 20%, did someone say? Yeah. Let's go for it again. And we're going to take out Donphan, very nice. So now I'm on a timer, he's probably going to bring in Slack and go for Retaliate. No, he's going to go into Chompedo. Is he going to Protect? I mean, I can't do anything else, I have to go, yeah, he's going to go for Protect. Uh, I, I think I will still outspeed him right now. I'm at plus two, he's at plus one. So he may go for the double protect, uh, if he's that guy. But I hope he doesn't. Let's go for that last resort. He, he gets the double protect. Oh, you person. <sighs> Come on. That's ridiculous. There's the mega, and there's the waterfall. And now I probably just lose? I am paralyzed with Suicune, which means I can go for a facade. Let's see if Suicune can take a hit. Can you take a crunch from this Mega Sharpedo? And get off a facade? Can you do it for me, Suicune? Come on. Come on, Suicune. Do it for me. Come on, Kino. Come through. You came through before with E-Speed. Can you come through again? Come on. Come on, Suicune. You got this. There's a crunch. We take it. Don't get fully powered. Don't get fully powered. Don't get... I have to go for E-Speed now, this isn't going to kill though. Don't get for the Parrot, thanks. 44%. Uh, E-Speed's base 80, 140. Uh, it wouldn't have killed. It wouldn't have killed. Facade would not have killed based on that damage. But it would have done a lot. It would have done a hell of a lot. Um, so now, I think I just lock myself into um, Sludge Wave. Yeah. Let's go for Sludge Wave. I'm obviously not going to outspeed, but can we take a hit? I don't think we can take a crunch. It's uh, Dragalga's physical defense is not good. Um, and this is a Mega Sharpedo we're talking about. I think we just lose to this crunch right now, but, uh, eh, what are you going to do? Um, apologies if you can hear the sirens, by the way. They're quite faint for me, but I don't know if you guys can hear them. There's the Ice Fang, and yeah, that's, that's dead. So good game. That was a very good game, actually. Um, interesting teams and stuff. We are going to go for one more game because that first one didn't really count because it was an early forfeit. And oh god, we're playing against Chedo, who has Dustox, Raticate, Swampert, Ordino, Cacturn, and Flareon. <sighs> okay, the lead here. Could be Swampert. Um, Dragon Sea, I'm going to go with Trevenant. So he leads with Dust Dox. Are you going to Quiver Pass? Are you going to Quiver Pass? I'm going to go for a Shadow Claw. Is that what Dust Doxes do? Silver Wind? Um, just gonna go for another Shadow Claw. Don't get the boost. Thanks. There's the crit. Nice and high crit ratio move. One more should take him out. And if he wants to switch into Raticate, then that's okay. Iron Defense! You are 100% baton passing right now. No doubt about it. No doubt about your baton passing right now. You have to. Roost? Crit. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Of course, you can't quiver pass. Oh, and he gets the boost. Of course, he does. Of course, he gets the boost. Okay. That's how we're playing this game. I just need to crit this, uh, this here Shadow Claw. Um. Let's go into Entei. He goes for Roost, as expected. I'm going to go for Sub, because I do not think Silverwind will break it, and I can start Calm Minding all over the place. So we get off a Sub. Now we go for Calm Mind. There's another Silverwind. It's not going to break the Sub. He gets more boosts. Okay. But I'm going to get off a Calm Mind. Now am I going to be greedy and go for another one? 
Oh, do I need to go for flamethrower right now? I'm gonna go for flamethrower. He's gonna go for Venoshock, which breaks the sub flamethrower to 69%. Solid amount of damage. Venoshock, I do not think, will kill me. He is at plus two special attack. I'm at plus one special defense, though. And I'm max HP. Venoshock won't kill me. And I can go for another flamethrower. If he goes into um, Flareon and it's flash fire, that won't be good. But we have to do it. Let's try and kill this uh, Dust Ox Venoshock. Only does 19%. And a flamethrower's gonna knock him out. My goodness. Silver Wind. Okay. Silver Wind. There's the Raticate. He's possibly gonna protect to try and get a flame orb boost. In which case, I'm gonna go for a sub. There's a protect. So you don't protect on a mon that you know has substitute. That's just ironic. There's a toxic orb. And now we go for flamethrower once again. Because we can. There's the facade. Now we go for flamethrower. See how much this does. It knocks him out. Bye bye. You tried, sir. You tried. Burke coming through with this flamethrower right now. Could see Swampert because I can't really touch it. Plus one Shadow Boy is going to do too much. Same with Flareon. But I can do a decent amount of damage to Ordino and to Cacturn. If it comes in, there's the Ordino. I'm going to go for sub because I don't think you can do anything to me. I'll go for another sub. There's the Mega. As I get a sub off, he goes for the Calm Mind. Oh no. We're playing this war. I'm going to go for another Calm Mind myself, I think. Let's go for the Calm Mind. Um... We're playing this war. This is going to be fun. Um, hmm. Okay. <sighs> Kelly would be proud of the opposing team. But uh, I am not. So hopefully, we can do some things and some stuff here. There's the other combine. So we're both at plus two, plus two. I think I'm going to go for a flamethrower right now. And just gauge how much it's going to do. I feel like it's going to do absolutely nothing, but we'll try it. Oh, I get a crit! Oh, and a burn! Oh, and a burn! Draining Kiss doesn't break the sub, and I can kill him with another flamethrower. That crit was massive. That crit was massive. I can't let him get off a whip. Oh, there's the forfeit. There's the forfeit. Oh, man. There is the forfeit. And you know what? We're going to go for one more. Damn, that was ridiculous. That crit was huge. Jeez. Um, yeah, that was very unfortunate for him, but uh, I don't mind too much because I hated that team. Hey, what are you going to do? So, we have a match against the Crafting Dead, who has Swampert, Entei, Shaman, Hydreigon, Hydreigon, uh, Chandelure, and Donphan. Leads, Swampert, Donphan. Either or, in which case, I am going with Trevenant. He could very well... I don't think he'd see my Trevenant lead. Yeah, he could see the Trevenant lead, maybe. Um, either way, it'll be fine. In comes the Shaman. That's not really what I wanted to see, but we're going to go for a Shadow Claw. Nonetheless, he has no normal type, so... Might as well go for it, see what the Shaman wants to do. He can't Leech Seed me or anything like that, so... I'm not too fussed. Why? Why? Let's go for another Shadow Claw. There's a Seed Flare, we tank it, and I get minus two special defense. Okay, uh, I am now going to go into... I'm going to go into Entei. Because I think I can tank the Seed Flare, can't I? Leaf Storm. Oh, that's perfect, because now you cannot break a substitute. Let's go for sub. Unless you have, like, in power ground or something, which I don't think. And he is going to switch out into the Hydreigon, as I'm going to get off a sub. Uh, he can break it with pretty much anything, so I'm not I'm not feeling going for a Calm Mind. I don't think there's any point. I think I'm just going to go for a sh uh, for, for a Shadow Ball, for a Flamethrower, for damage. What? Okay, um, bank on the miss. Damn it. How does everyone hit fly except for me? Come on, it's not fair. So I get off a combine, I'm gonna go for another sub. Hoping he goes for fly again. 
Go for fly. I dare you. Not even power herb. This man doesn't know how to fly. That's not how you fly. You have to have a power herb. Come on, we got this. We got this. Go for fly. Go on. Go on. Go for fly. Ah. Oh, we tank it. We tank that Draco. Oh my goodness. Plus one Entei tanking that Draco. I don't think he can break our sub anymore. There's the fly as we got for Car Mind. Very nice. So we're getting a little bit more HP back with the lefties as well, which is awesome. So now he's going to come down and either miss or break the sub, one of the two. Uh, and I'm going to go for a flamethrower for damage. He goes for fly, breaks the sub. He's getting off a flamethrower. That does good damage. That does very good damage. He can't... Um, I don't even know if he's going to do enough to be able to put us at a point where we can't sub. I'm just going to go for flamethrower. Oops, I hit the mic. Apologies. He goes for superpower. Doesn't kill us. And we're going to be able to get off another flamethrower. Which is going to do a lot. Not enough to take him out, though. And he can kill us with another superpower or something along those lines. Do I predict the superpower and go back into Tremendent? Is there any point keeping Entei around? What does he do? Not much. He can hit the Dom fan pretty hard, but I have other things for that, so I'm going to go for Flamethrower. As he goes for Draco once again, that's absolutely fine with me. As now, I can bring in basically anyone. Uh, I'm going to go into... It's too early for you because there's a chandelier around. So I'm going to go into... Um, I'm going to go into Suicune. And I'm actually going to go for an Ice Fang. Because if he wants to go into Shaman, that is absolutely perfect. And if not, I'm going to kill him with this Ice Fang. And I don't think he can do much. He might go for another Fly or something. No, he's going to go into the Shaman. Can we kill him? That's not enough to kill him. But can we kill him with another one? Can we take a Sea Flare? Sure, if you believe hard enough. Leech Seed, perfect. Bye. Um, I can just switch now. Um, so who are you going to go into? What on your team wants to take a waterfall right now? Suicune can put in the finest in this match. There's the Chandelure. I'm going to go into uh, Umbreon. As he goes for the... <sighs> okay. I'm going to go for Foul Play. Giga Impact Confuse Ray Chandelure. Can you not hurt yourself in confusion, please? Can you just not? Thanks. Now he goes for Fire Blast. It's not going to kill us. Gets the burn, and we don't burn him right back because of Synchronize. I'm going to go for Sucker Punch. I can. Ha ha! Broke through confusion and didn't kill him. Well, that's less than ideal. Armageddon goes down, but now we bring in... Uh... Now we bring in... Ooh, this is the time for the scar. Uh, now we bring in Dragalgi, who is going to outspeed this Chandelure. I'm pretty certain. And we can go for... We can just go for Dragon Pulse, really. Don't really want to go for Sludge Wave. Let's go for Dragon Pulse. We are going to take out the Chandelure. Scarf Dragalgi coming through! Natural selection. Putting in the finest. Let's go. Let's go. Now, he can go into uh, no one to take this Dragon Pulse. Uh, which is awesome. He can go into absolutely no one. Let's go into Don Fan. He can kill, probably kill me with an EQ. I'm going to go for Dragon Pulse. See how much this does. This is adaptability. Max special attack. Ooh, the damage. He has Head Smash! I love this person. He has Head Smash, but he misses. No accuracy EVs on that Don Fan. In comes the Entei. Taking this Dragon Pulse. Oh, wow. It doesn't even two-hit KO. Let's go for another one, though. What can he do to me? What, what's, what's this man got? Oh, Min Max Rolls coming through. Natural Selection is putting in the finest right now. What does he have left? What does he have left? Swampert. Swampert could probably kill me with an Ice Punch. Let's go. If this is Mega, he may kill me with an Ice Punch. Maybe. Because Dragalgi's physical defense is kind of awful. So let's go. Can Dragalgi clean this up? Dragon Balls is not going to two-hit KO. Dive! Dive! 
<laughs> oh, I love this team. I love this person. Oh, this is spectacular. He gets a crit on the dive and does over half, but normally it will not do that much. Let's go for another deep pulse. Can we get another min-max roll? Can we get a crit? Can we do something to take out this Mega Swamp? He's going to switch out to Hydreigon, and he is going to go down to another deep pulse. The I got a crit. If he just stayed in the Swamp, that would have killed him. Man. Come on, Dragogi. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Don Fan dies to a D pulse. Swamper may or may not die to a D pulse. It depends on mid max rolls and crits and things. But I do not want. I don't want Swamper. I don't want Dragogi to die. I want Dragogi to clean up. This will be so cool. Come on. Come on. Can Scarf Dragogi do a thing? Can it do a thing? I mean, it's already done a thing. Can it do an even bigger thing? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Dragogi. I'm going to start the timer because I want this. I want this. I want this. I want this win. Come on, Dragogi. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this. Donphan dies to another D-Pulse and I outspeed. Swampert is going to take some hefty damage, if not die, to another D-Pulse. Come on. Come on. We got this. We got this. Don't do this to me. Don't time out on me like this. I need this win. Don't take it away from me. I have to know. Come on. Oh, come on. Please. Please. Come on. Come on, crafting dead. Don't be dead, crafting dead. Be live. I'm probably just gonna have to cut until he does something. Ah, <sighs> oh, and there it is. Ah, oh, man. Lost due to inactivity, but hey, we won that. Dragalgi did very much a thing, and we faced another team that was basically like a strange showdown sessions team. What with Giga Impact, Chandelure, and Fly Hydragon, and Head Smash Donphan, like, ah, oh, Dive Mega Swampert. Glorious. If that Mega Swampert had Dive and Dig, that would just be spectacular. But anyway, that is going to wrap things up for this episode of Strange Showdown Sessions. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any weird, crazy set suggestions, please do leave them down in the comments down below, and I'll stick them on my list, and uh, I'll get to them eventually. So thank you everyone who suggested a set for this episode. It was pretty successful, honestly. I think, it, I think it did some things and some stuff. So, with that said, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you guys in another video very soon. Toodaloo.